I was, needless to say, very ecstatic uh, to hear uh, the good news. And, but also I, I had to prepare for the next step for the international fair because there's other things I, I need to prepare for that. Toronto student Howlin Lee was one of 10 young scientists who represented Canada last week at the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. Lee's project was decoding underlying neuroactivity of neurodegeneration in traumatic brain injury. People with brain in repeated TBI may not realize that, for example, 10 years down the line, that their uh, decreased visual acuity is because of the brain injury that they had like years ago. So my project focused on finding out a specific treatment, a new treatment for a traumatic optic neuropathy to see if I can help these cells in your eyes survive post-injury. Lee and eight of his teammates walked away with awards at the international event, which was held this year in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, Regenera and ISEF brings together about 1,800 students uh, from, uh, I think it's 50 to 60 countries from around the world, and they are the best of the best of the youth STEM competitions uh, from around the globe. And uh, so the, pro the quality of the projects is extremely high. And so, uh, as it turns out this year, for our students to have won, um, for our team have won nine awards is, uh, is an extraordinary accomplishment. Apart from winning second place in the behavioral and social sciences category and the $2,000 that comes with it, Lee said the networking provided during the weekend was one of the highlights. Interesting to converse with uh, people from all over the world and um, talk with them, even not in my category. So my category is behavioral and social sciences, but I was able to meet people from like animal science or plant sciences or like translational medicine, building everlasting relationships with them, connections that I feel like will last uh, a long time after. Lee says the work isn't done for him just yet. He'll be heading to a lab in the U.S. this summer to further study traumatic brain injuries. The lab that I'm working with and I found two like significant genes that if we knock them out, we were able to grant uh, what we call neuroprotection so your cells don't die. So the next step for me is to go back to, uh, to the drawing board in the lab to see if we can perhaps build on that. This is the 60th year anniversary of the Canada-wide portion of the science fair. Winning at the national level could land some young scientists a spot on Team Canada for next year's international competition. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.